I don't think one can even mention sustainability unless you recognize that ecosystem health equals human health. Humanity is placing too many pressures on the natural world with damaging consequences. What happens in the long term to biodiversity is going to depend on the course of our collapse. We also need to make sure we prioritize a food future that coexists in harmony with nature. The big problem, of course, is that problems of poverty and problems of inequality impinge on the question of food availability. It's now the 21st century and there are still 800 million people worldwide that don't have access to safe and affordable drinking water and over 2 billion people worldwide that don't have access to adequate sanitation services. And even without a pandemic, even without a public health crisis, that is a public health crisis. 75 years from now, we're going to run the world on sun and wind because it's cheap and clean. But if it takes 75 years to get there, the world that we run on sun and wind will be a broken world. We have many opportunities to really transform our economy as we come out of COVID. We need to come back with a cleaner economy. We should be able to make our societies more resilient, grow the number of jobs, and actually grow the security of our energy system. Do we prop up the fossil fuel industry or... Do we, as we did during the recession, choose to make an investment in green technologies? You now have these extraordinary sums of money being mobilized overnight. We could not find it in ourselves for the past 10 years to find a way to mobilize $100 billion in order to accelerate our collective capacity to move towards a low-carbon economy. We have another global pandemic, global planetary emergency looming. And can we use this opportunity, can we learn from this to actually fix the way for the future? The coronavirus pandemic, in my view, is a harbinger of a much, much bigger emergency to come. And everybody is now seeing that. The bottom line is that our recovery from this pandemic must guide us to a more inclusive, sustainable, and resilient future.